Welcome again to Pray and Go, your deliverance-centered prayer channel, where we take the Word of God and use it in knowledge in a spiritual warfare, to back our efforts as human beings as required of us by the Word of God, so that we will obtain the expected fullness of life in Christ Jesus. God bless you. As always, if you like these prayers, please like, subscribe, and share this channel. Click on the notification bell to get notified whenever we load a new prayer. And also to leave your comments below and share your testimonies. And let's glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Before we start, I would like us to keep in mind what the Bible says in Ephesians 6 verse 12. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. I therefore urge you to be spiritually minded throughout the prayers as Romans 8 verse 6 says, To be carnally minded is death. Let us choose to live and not die. Amen. Our main verse for today is taken from John 18 12. New King James Version, and it reads, Then the detachment of troops and the captain and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus and bound him. Today, we are going to take a practical look at this Bible verse in the context of our lives as born-again Christians, but from the perspective of deliverance, we will be trying to use the analogy of how Judas offered Jesus up for arrest in the natural, leading to his death and the end of his ministry, as a man like you and I are in flesh, to explain how in the same manner in the Spirit, the Word of God for us, can be offered for arrest and bound to end its manifestation in our lives, in the natural. We will try to identify in our lives today who the Judas is, what prompted them to take such an action, and how they were or are able to achieve their aim of causing the arrest of the Word of God for us. We will then use the knowledge gained and by the effective application of the Word of God to go into an all-out prayer to set free our Word of God of any area of our lives, from any spiritual arrest, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The key point to note about this scripture here is, this scripture is a true life story of Jesus Christ when he was living among men as flesh. The Bible says in Luke 2 4 that he was of the house and lineage of David, who is from the tribe of Judah. Jesus was therefore from the tribe of Judah. Judah was one of the twelve tribes of Israel, and the people of Israel are called Jews. The tribe of Judah dwelt in the province called Judea. The Bible says, at some age and stage of his life, the rulers of the Jews became concerned about the success of his ministry, or what we can describe today as his business or how he was living his life, to the extent that, according to John 7 1, Jesus did not want to travel in Judea, his hometown, because the Jews there, were trying to kill him. He therefore went about with his life, minding his business, his ministry, restricting his travel to Galilee, John 7 30 says. Even so they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him. This was because, there was not any wrongdoing, that could be pinned down on him. The Bible says, he was living a normal, but careful life. To the extent that, in John 7 25-26, some of the people of Jerusalem began to say, Isn't this the man they are trying to kill? Yet here he is, speaking publicly. And they are not saying anything to him. No one therefore among all the people, and from all the various tribes, could arrest him. This Jesus is whom it was written in John 1 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God, in John 1 14. The Bible says of this Word, And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. The glory is of the only begotten, of the Father, full of grace and truth. In Matthew 1 21, the Bible says, His name shall be called, Jesus. Jesus is therefore, the Word, that was, even in the beginning, by seeking to arrest and kill Him, what the people were effectively doing, was seeking to arrest and stop the ongoing or any further manifestation of the word of god now let's bring this into our lives what is the word of god the word of god is every scripture in the bible concerning our lives in genesis 1 28 the bible says god blessed the man and the woman he had created and said to them be fruitful multiply fill the earth fruitfulness in life increasing and expanding in territory in a person's life is the Word of God. Genesis 2 24 says, 
a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. Peaceful marriage is the word of God. Joel 2.26 says, You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Satisfaction in life is the word of God. Exodus 23.25 says, I will take away sickness from among you. Good health is the word of God. These are all scriptures in the Bible on some of the word of God that God expects to see naturalized and evidenced in the physical in our lives as Christians on this earth. These words, however, are all spirit and living in the spirit, waiting to become flesh. That is to become natural and part of our natural lives. In our scripture in John 18, 12, Jesus, who we know is the word of God, a spirit mentioned in both John 1 verse 1 and John 1 verse 14 had then become flesh and living as a natural person among the people. The Bible, however, says in John 18, 12, that a detachment of troops and the captain and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus and bound him. This goes to explain to us that the word of God can be arrested and bound. God the Father cannot be arrested, but his son, who is his word, who is sent into our lives, can be arrested and stopped from continuing to show up in a person's life. In the days when Jesus Christ was physically present on earth, his arrest was a natural occurrence. But just as he was demonstrably arrested in the physical, he is still the word. He does not change. He is only now in the spirit. And therefore in the same manner, in the form of a sent word, the word can be spiritually arrested and bound and stop from progressing on from the spirit onto the natural in a person's life. This is deep deliverance teaching, and I pray the Holy Spirit bring divine understanding to you. I encourage you to repeatedly listen to it, inviting the Holy Spirit to open the eyes of your understanding. Amen. Every word of God in transit from the spirit to the natural can be arrested in much the same way as Jesus, who is the word when on earth was arrested. A person's marriage, prosperity, abundance, health, childbirth, and every blessing spoken of in the Bible, which are all the word of God, can be arrested and bound in the spirit and denied of their natural manifestation in the lives of the people. That is why one can be of marriage age, be desiring to marry, which is the word of God, and yet be denied of marriage. The word is spirit. John 6 63 says, it is the spirit which gives life. If the spirit is arrested in the spirit realm, there is no life to sustain its natural manifestation. And therefore it cannot exist in the natural. The spirit comes first. The flesh is secondary. A typical example is the case in Daniel chapter 10 verses 12 to 13. When the word, which is the answer to his prayers, which was in the form of spirit was released on the first day of his prayers, the Bible says, but it was held in the spirit and denied of its natural manifestation until it was fought out again to be released in the spirit to bring natural manifestation in Daniel's life through his persistence in warfare prayers. Without Daniel's persistence in prayers, the word of God for him, the answer to his prayers would be denied from natural manifestation. God did send the word, but the word was stopped in the spirit. The fact that God has spoken and therefore he has sent forth his word does not always and automatically mean that the spoken words of God will come into natural manifestation in one's life. This is one misconception in the body of Christ, which has affected many in their faith in Christ Jesus. The word can be arrested and their manifestation in one's life denied. God the Father cannot be arrested, but his son who he sends in the form of a word can be arrested. Jesus was arrested, even though he is the word, but then God, the Holy Spirit again has the power to set the son free. Jesus Christ was even raised from the dead by the Holy Spirit. Again, the word cannot be destroyed because the word is God. And therefore with understanding, it doesn't matter how long the word gets arrested for and bound and denied from showing forth in a person's life. When one attains the right level of growth in spiritual knowledge, and addresses the absence of the word in their life. Giving them the necessary time and attention in prayers, one can pray into manifestation, the word of God missing in their lives 
regardless of one's age. A well-aged woman, long past childbearing age, can therefore still get pregnant and give birth, regardless of whatever age they may have reached in their lives. So, in order words, the word of God can be delayed in one's life or even denied from manifesting in one's life, but it cannot be destroyed. It continues living in the spirit, even when one is dead and gone. This functionality, or the form of the word of God, we are talking about here, is different from the word of God in John 8 36, which says, if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. We are talking about the sun, the word who has not yet set you free. And when we talk about you here, we are talking about any word of God for us that we are seeing or not seeing in our lives. That word is us. Subscribe to this Pray and Go Prayer channel to gain the knowledge and the benefit of Holy Spirit guided prayers to quicken your life. In Christ Jesus, it is the knowledge behind your prayers that sets you free. Amen. God bless you. For now, we will stop here and continue in our next upload. Amen.